whoa, whoa, whoa. This is me, your boy, Big D, man, Mr. Money and Violence himself. And I'm just going to keep it a hundred with you. I don't even know if the motherfuckers hear this here because I'm pretty sure that, you know, the producers and shit, they probably not in and whatever I'm doing. But I'm putting it out there anyway because I'm a real fucking fan of this shit. It hasn't been a show that I've been a fan of, motherfucker, since. I'm going to keep it a hundred with you, though. I was watching that shit while motherfucker was watching Power War. While motherfucker was stuck on Empire. Empire, nigga. I was watching Money and Violence and Power. Money and Violence and Power. Money and Violence and Power. Money and Violence did not have the production like Power had. But I kept them two motherfuckers out. I was on Money and Violence because Money and Violence was serving the motherfucker more. You know what I'm saying? Like like, like the weed man. Money and Violence was, was serving more like, uh, getting off they shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Power was giving you that once a week or some shit like that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm a real fan of that shit, man. And I feel like, is other fans out there like me that's like, hey, what the fuck are y'all doing? Because you got motherfuckers that been riding with y'all. And I'm going to keep it real. I don't watch any other. I don't watch no. I'm, bro, I actually tried to watch some more of these little web series they be having. Since Money and Violence started this shit. Like, and since they took their little break. I tried like I tried to watch about, 20, about 15, 20 minutes or some shit. When I say that shit was not working. Dude. I didn't like the shit. Tell you the truth, I didn't even, I, I really didn't want to get this shit at the time of the day, but I did just because I said, hey, maybe they'll shock me. And maybe there's one out there, but I'm stuck on money and violence because I relate with them motherfuckers. Not, not like, oh, Brooklyn's like Baton Rouge, but man, it's like, you, man, you, you know when you was young and, and you watch motherfuckers on TV and you like, I know these motherfuckers. That's what it's like, like, nigga. I know Miz. I know Rave. I know if I was around them, how to, how to act. You know, I'll be myself, but it's like, you you know these niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know these niggas, man. Shane, Kane, Mr., I think Mr. did. Ah, oh, man, Mr., man, nigga, that was, man. Uncle murdered the way he fucking shot Shane. That shit was cold-blooded. It's like, man, we waiting to see. It's like, I don't want, let me tell you the truth, I ain't want none of the motherfucking characters did like that. You know what I'm saying? So. I wanted on, um, what they call it, BR? BR, him? I wanted him to, you know. I wanted him to come to his senses and link up. But when all them niggas got killed at the end, like, when they were doing, trying to you know, go get the weed and shit, that shit kind of fucked me up. I ain't think BR was going to end up dead. It's like, but this shit happened so fast. Like, I'm a real fan of this shit. And motherfuckers be viewing the shit that I be doing. I don't, this ain't no bullshit I'm putting up trying to get motherfuckers trick you to click on some shit. No. I'm getting on this shit here because I'm expressing how I feel about a show that I fucking love. And a show that was so, production on it was so like, I can do this shit, but I was loving this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was regular niggas, not actors. Like, I was loving this shit. And I, I'm really, I really want to put together some shit, because I, I done linked up with some guys that, that you know, they they, 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 they see the same vision I see. You feel me? Not identical, but they, I mean, they, you know, they, they see what I'm saying, they on the same shit, so. I just look at it like, man, I'm just a fan of that shit. And as a fan, I'm like, man, y'all fucking over, nigga, man, like, you know. Got a nigga out there like some like some dope or something. Like I'm sitting there waiting, like man, when y'all gonna get some more shit? Like what up, bro? Y'all ain't serving. Now y'all making me think y'all some fake ass motherfucking drug dealers. You know how niggas get though. Niggas get like that real shit. But nah, man. But real talk though, y'all need to um come on, man, and do something, man. The streets waiting, bro. You know you got niggas in be all waiting, Baton Rouge, all the way at the bottom of this map that we on. That, that's called the U.S. of motherfucking A. Man, you got niggas in B. Aura. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, country than the motherfucker. You ever heard of Boosie Badass? Yeah. I lived in a, the same hood as him, but I lived at the top. South side, top of the bottom. He was at the bottom, I was at the top. I lived there from 92 to 97. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 you know, NBA young boy, they from B.R. Uh, Mr. Kane, all them Kane, they from B.R. 
You know what I'm saying? TC or, or Maine, all the niggas from BR. So that's one man. Money and violence have reached a nigga in BR. And now I'm just like, y'all got a nigga out there with nothing up, man.